Hi, Holly Macker here from Instructional Tech. Today I'm going to show you how you can pin individual skills for your students and also create a skill plan based off their math textbook. Here I am at IXL. I'm going to go ahead and hover over Learning and go into Math. At Elkhart, we have access to Math and Language Arts for IXL. I'm going to go ahead and pick my grade level. I'm going to pick fifth grade. And here I can see all 439 skills that my students could practice. Notice one of these skills already has a star and it's highlighted yellow. That means I've recommended my students work on that skill. I can select another skill by tapping the star. If I hover over the star, I can decide if I want that to go to all of my students or pick individual students who need that practice. I'm going to go ahead and pick all students. Now you should see that my student has another skill added to their From My Teacher section. Let's hop on the iPad and see what that looks like. Here I am on a student iPad. I'm going to go ahead and select the From Your Teacher section in the bottom corner. And notice those two fifth grade skills that I have already assigned to the student are right there at the top under Math. Now when a student chooses that option, it takes them straight to that section. Let's head back to IXL so you can see how you can assign a skill plan based off your textbook. I'm still under the learning category and notice there's a section called skill plans. I'm going to go ahead and open skill plans. At the top of this page you can see I have already pinned the math expressions fifth grade textbook to my students. Let me show you how I did that. I'm going to go ahead and scroll down and where it says jump to I'm going to select textbooks. That simply scrolls me down in the page right to where I need to go. I'm going to scroll down until I find math expressions. They are in alphabetical order. I'm going to hover over my program where the math expressions with the frog in the front. And I can pin any of the grade levels. Let me go ahead and pin sixth grade so you can see what that looks like. Notice it's now pinned. I'm going to scroll to the top. Under math expressions, I now have fifth grade and sixth grade. I'm going to go ahead and unpin 6th grade because I don't need that. I'm back to only 5th grade. Let's take a look at what that looks like on the iPad. To access her skill plans, she's going to select Math at the top. Notice she has access to Math, Language Arts, and now she has Your Skill Plans. She knows that she's in the Math Expression Skill Plan because in the upper right hand corner it says Math Expressions 5th grade. If she has other skill plans, like NWEA skill plans, she can find those there as well. Notice it has every lesson and every big idea has skills that are assigned to it that would complement the skills that you are currently working on. As I scroll down, you can see it breaks us up into our big ideas. So it's easy for students to find where we are in the book just based off which big idea or unit we are in. Using your NWEA data is another amazing way to create a skill plan for your students. Be on the lookout for our next video about how you can link your students' NWEA data into IXL.